Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Power BI Visuals. Today we will walk through how to customize shape maps in Power BI, like the one on my screen where I have used Pakistan map in Power BI. In this tutorial, we will cover how to find, modify, and convert special files, adding them into Power BI report using the shape map visuals. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get new videos notifications. Let's start the video. To use customize shape maps in Power BI, it requires three simple steps. In step one, we will download the dataset. To download the dataset, I use divagis.org. The link is available in the video description. So we are on the divages.org and now we will click on the free special data and then we will click on country level data and here we get all the countries available in this drop down and from this drop down I am using and selecting Pakistan. From the subject I will use the administrative areas and press OK. Download. Save. And we completed the first step. In second step, we are going to convert this data into a topo JSON file. To perform this task, I use mapshaper.org. The link is available in the video description. So now we will upload the data that we have downloaded from divages.org by clicking on this select button. Here we have our data. Open. And it will extract all the files available in that zip folder. Just click on import. From the top center of the map shaper, you will get the layers of the zip file. And from this layer, I am going to use the park ADM3 file because it contains 141 polygon features. And here we get the Pakistan map. So now we will just export this map by clicking on the export button. And from file format, we are going to use topo JSON. Export. Save the file. And we completed the second step. In the third step, we are going to connect the data and topo JSON file that we have downloaded from the map shaper. For the data, I have extracted park underscore ADM zip folder. And here we have some CSV files and from this CSV file we are going to connect park underscore adm3.csv. To connect the file, go to home, get data and select text CSV, park underscore adm. And here we have park underscore adm3.csv. And if we observe the file, in the name underscore zero it shows the country name. In name underscore 1, it shows the state or province name. In name underscore 2, it shows the city name. And in name underscore 3, it shows the district names. And the file is fully formatted, so we will just load the file in the Power BI. Once the file is loaded, we will insert shape map from the visualization pane. So here we have the shape map. And we are interested to show the district on this map. So expand the park underscore ADM3 and here we have name 3 fields that has all the district. Just drag and drop on the location. Once we perform this task, now we are able to connect the topo JSON file in Power BI. For that, select shape map visual, go to format, map setting, from the map setting map type, select custom map, browse, and here we have the park underscore adm dot json file. Select and open. So now we have the Pakistan map in Power BI. To apply color saturation, we will use ID2 because it shows the IDs for the state or province. So drag it to color saturation field. And here we have Pakistan map. Now let's insert a slicer and call name one field. It shows the state or province of Pakistan. So if I want to see the Sindh district, just click and Sindh province is highlighted. If I want to see northern areas, click 
and northern areas are highlight if you find this tutorial helpful make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below you can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments see you in next tutorial